PGA Tour is under a fair amount of stress right now. Marketable uh, players are playing in the majors, only playing in the majors. It seems like Tiger, the most marketable player, and that's all he's going to do right now. You got the Live Tournament, Saudi League, starting to make a little bit of noise, and money talks. Money talks, golfers walk. And uh, the first event coming up this weekend, Dustin Johnson, Louis Oosthuizen, Sergio Garcia, and then Phil Mickelson. Here he comes. From what I'm told, $50 million a year. And then you have prize money on top of that. So that's the appearance fee to show up. PJ Tour doesn't have appearance fees. So they're good golfers. Grand scheme of things, losing them probably won't mean a lot to the PGA Tour. Losing Phil will because he's very popular. But is this a win for the Saudi-backed live tour? Players interested in competing. And if, if, look at it from the player's perspective. Okay, can I cut down on the number of events I play it? Yes. Do I get guaranteed money? Yes. Um, also, it's fun. There's no cut. It's three days. Shotgun start. We all start at the same time, finish at the same time. So the downside is probably going to be, well, hey, how many PGA tours, uh, uh, PGA titles did you win? None, but I won like four live uh, tournaments. Live? Uh, am I allowed to play in the majors? Can I play in the masters? Am I going to be excluded? What about the Ryder Cup? Can I play? Is there going to be a Ryder Cup? How's that going to work? How do we qualify? And I was talking to somebody who is uh, in the inner circle with Mickelson yesterday, and I said, all right, did Phil sit himself out of these events? The, the couple of majors here. We still can't get an answer on this. I don't know if the Live Tour and Greg Norman said to Phil, hey, you know what? It might be best for all of us if you don't play in these events. Because the Masters came out and said, we didn't exclude him. I don't know if the PGA Tour did for the PGA Championship. So I don't know. Phil's planning on playing in the U.S. Open. These guys got exemptions. Dustin Johnson planning on playing in the majors. Here's Dustin Johnson on his decision to play in the uh, on the live tour. He said this about an hour ago. For right now, um, you know, I resign my membership from the tour. I'm I'm going to play here, um, you know, for now, and that's that's the plan. Um, you know, but what the consequences are going to be, I, obviously, I can't comment on what, how the tour is going to handle. But regards to majors, are you majors? Um, I mean, it's again, I, I can't answer for for the majors, but. You know, hopefully they're going to allow us to play. Obviously, I'm exempt for for the major, so um, I plan on playing there and, unless um, I hear otherwise. Yeah, and he won the Masters two years ago. He's still in the prime of his career. He's 37. So you got lifetime exemptions here. Uh, Phil, it sounds like, is going to play. And I don't know what happens, let's say, in a year from now. Because all these players, they do a lot of talking. Hey, how is it? You know, first class stuff? What do they give you? What kind of car do you drive? Do, where do you guys stay? All right. And, and then they pay you like right away? And yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you know, everybody's going to take inventory here. Less work. Uh, so I can make more money with less work. Now what's the PGA Tour do? Do they raise prize money here? What happens? And I was told Tiger probably could have made a billion dollars. I mean, money is not a factor here. And this is what I wonder. They could buy the PGA Tour. They, they could buy every player and just say, all right, here is uh, Rory. We're going to give you $500 million. Whatever it is, I don't think that's the issue. The question is, can you do it? Does your conscience allow you to do this being in business with the Saudis? That's really what it comes down to. That and your legacy. Do you care if people are going to be able to watch it? Because you're not going to see this event. It's on YouTube. And the people watching YouTube are probably not interested in watching 40-year-old white guys play golf in London. Because if that's the case, watch the DP tour that's every Saturday and Sunday morning with white guys playing in Europe. I watch it. I don't know if anybody else is. But when you talk about what is what do the Saudis get out of this, and we were discussing this prior to the show, maybe it's it softens their image a little bit. You know, they got a team in the Premier League. 
uh, getting involved in uh, you know race cars, uh, getting involved in uh, events. It, it's getting involved in sports and maybe softening that image that we have about the Saudis. Dustin Johnson wants to make money, go play, good for him. Uh, is the tour going to miss him? No. They, they'd miss his wife more than they'd miss him. But if he wants to go play, good for him. He wants to make the money, good for him. His conscience says, I'm okay with this, go ahead. Now the PGA Tour's got to find what's best for business. Because if we, you know, ban these players, now they don't get to play. Now we don't get to see them play in these events. I don't know how that can help the PGA Tour and the majors. But are you going to, you would miss Rory and Spieth and Justin Thomas, John Rahm. Do they have a price tag? Dustin Johnson didn't have a price tag in February because he wasn't going to do this. Then all of a sudden, he had a price tag. And also, Dustin Johnson has won before. PJ Tours tried to get him to do interviews. We tried to have him on the show, and we would always get a no. So, you know, I mean, and look, that's, that's, it, that's up to him. If he wants to do it, maybe he's not comfortable doing it. But, but he's never been amenable to being media-friendly, talking about these things. I mean, what I just played for you is the most I've heard from Dustin Johnson. But he's still an interesting player to watch. He doesn't hit it as far as he used to or as you know, farther than everybody else where we were like, oh, my gosh, I got to bow my wrist at the top of my swing to hit it like Dustin Johnson. Tiger's staying, but then he's only going to play in the majors. And then you have the younger players for now. But they were trying to do this where they could, uh, they could kind of coexist where these events, this event this weekend is in London. All right. You know, I'm going to watch the Canadian Open, the RBC. By the way, Dustin Johnson, that was one of his main sponsors. So they just found out, what, four days before the tournament that their spokesperson is not their spokesperson because he's decided that he's going to quit the PGA Tour, resigning from the PGA Tour. Can you coexist with the Live Tour? I think that's going to be the key. Because if you're the PGA Tour... You need some of these players, or you'd like to have some of these players. But what are you giving up? You don't get world ranking points. And, and you also, you're not going to um, get your pension with the PGA Tour. How much do you care about the respect of playing in front of fans in the United States? I would think that's a big deal. Let's say I'm going to put a logo on you. I want that logo being seen by a whole lot of people. But I don't know, you don't hear any sponsors with the Live Tour. Not that they need it. I'm curious if you get a sponsor, title sponsor. Because these events don't have names. It's like uh, Live Tour Event 1, London. we got a couple events in the United States, but it's here. I don't know what's next, but it's certainly here.